What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Heinz Crypto channel. Today I just wanted to make a quick video talking about some stuff that I have purchased here in the bear market. I finally purchased all the components to build my first two CPU mining rigs and I'm going to kind of go over some of the hardware with you today. Show you what I bought. Give me your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, if you're doing any CPU mining, what you are CPU mining and your thoughts on CPU mining. You know it's interesting. Uh, at first I tackled the ASICs. Then I tackled the GPUs, and now I'm jumping on into the CPU mining rig. So I'm super excited, man. Ever since I jumped into the mining scene, it's been nothing but a learning process, meeting cool people, and really enjoying it. So let's go ahead and hop on into it. So first, uh, the CPU that I purchased for both of these rigs is the Ryzen 9 3900X. Um, and I did a little bit of research, you know, watched a lot of rabid streams and kind of got the consensus that, you know, this is one of the perfect uh, CPUs for mining. It's efficient and it does exactly what you need it to do without high watts. And, you know, I definitely didn't pay this much for it. I got I got it for a pretty good deal, but I just pulled it up here on Amazon to show you guys. Um, but they're the most cost efficient as well. So I purchased two Ryzen 9 3900Xs for both of the CPUs. Next, the motherboards that I got. I got two separate motherboards. Uh, the first one that I got is the B450 MSI Performance uh, Gaming Plus Max motherboard. Uh, also, with the research that I've done, you know, the MSI boards are, you know, from what I've heard from Rabbit and stuff like that, they are the best to use. Because uh, after, you, you know, once you get them set up uh, initially, you don't really need a GPU or graphics to uh, continue doing anything. And you don't really have to mess around much in the BIOS. Uh, with these when you do get it set up so I went ahead and purchased this one here and the other one that I got was the MSI X470 gaming plus max motherboard as well uh, so I kind of got two just to test out see which one was better um, everybody says that the X470 is a really good one and uh, kind of outdoes the B so we're going to test that out and see for ourselves. but these are the two that I picked up here uh, that I'm going to be adding to the CPU rig uh, next is the RAM and I kind of just went with the basic RAM, you know, with CPU mining, you know, you don't really need much. And a lot of people say, you know, just running a single stick is all you need. So I picked up two sticks of DDR4 six or DDR4 eight gigabyte sticks. And I'm going to use one of these for each of the rigs. And last but not least, the solid state, the M.2 solid state drive, just a 250 gigabyte PNY solid state that I'm going to be putting in both of these things as well. And the, the power supplies, I got an EBG, or EVGA 600 watt, and I have a thermal tape 750 watt for both of these as well. So looking forward to it, man. Uh, so I ordered everything. It's all on the way. And as soon as I get it, you know, I will have a build video and update videos along the way. Super excited. Going to get in there and start mining a little bit of Raptorium. Um, so, you know, just jumping down the CPU rabbit hole, hadn't got the chance to really do that yet. So super excited. Also, I did end up picking up a mini Doge 2. So I wanted to wait before I did to see if they did come out with the Wi-Fi version. And lo and behold, a couple days ago, they did release the mini Doge 2 Wi-Fi version because what I'm wanting to do with this is I'm wanting to put it out in my mining shed and I don't really have ethernet hooked up out there yet. So I wanted to kind of get the Wi-Fi version so I could, you know, kind of move, start moving my mini ASICs out into the shed where I'm making the transition. Um, so super excited to see that. Um, I did pick this thing up and uh, super excited to play with it, man. You know, just start stacking that Dogecoin and Litecoin and just going over it real quick. And I'm sure you guys know, you know, it does have a regular hash mode and then a low power mode. In the regular hash mode, it does 420 mega hash at 400 watts, give or take 5%. And in the low power mode, it does 335 mega hash at 260 watts. So this will be my first mini doge. Uh, I hadn't really had a mini doge pro or regular mini doge in the past. So this will be my first mini doge miner. And so if we do jump over here to mine the ASIC, just to look at the profitability for the mini doge too, uh, you can see here that the income a day is about 97 cents and it would cost about 96 to run. With the recent uptick in the markets, these things have finally become just the slightest bit profitable. So super excited to get it and play around with it. Um, but you can also see down here in the low power modes, uh, the profits per day. So in the low power mode, you're actually profiting 15 cents a day. So 
excited to see it you know the low power mode is probably the way i'm going to be running this in the bear market uh when the bull market returns we'll probably put this thing into overdrive and take advantage of all it can do but that's all i got for this video guys thank you for tuning in just wanted to give you an update on what i'm doing in the bear market what i'm purchasing what i'm stacking and uh just getting ready for the bull market so leave some comments down below let me know what you're doing to prepare for the next bull market excited to hear your guys's input and until next time i'll see you in the next video